Well, howdy there, Internet students. It's Mr. Hermanson again. Uh, today we're going to learn how to divide uh, positive and negative numbers. Okay. Um, now, one thing I want you to always think about is um, you guys were pretty good at multiplying yesterday. So remember that every division problem has a multiplication problem. Like here, I'll just show you quick. Um, you know that 8 times 2 equals 16, right? Well, in that multiplication problem is a division problem. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So, like, let's say we were doing, um, I don't know, let's say 45 divided by 9. What does that equal? One way you could think about it is what number times 9 equals 45? And uh, since most people are better at multiplication than they are division, um, a lot of you would know, well, 9 times 5 is 45, right? So uh, the answer to 45 divided by 9 is 5. Okay? So, um, so we're going to look at some of these here and um, look at the answers. And then we're going to make some observations about what happens when we're dealing with negatives. Okay? Um, one thing I'm going to just tell you ahead of time is um, usually rules that apply to multiplication also apply to division because they're so related. In fact, really, like, um, and you'll learn this more as you go, but you know, 8 divided by 2 is the same as 8 times a half. You know, division is really another multiplication. It's just multiplication by a, fra a fraction. But anyway, so um, so I'm going to give you just a second to look at this list and see if you notice any patterns as you look at those answers. So go ahead and pause and write down your observations. All right, you guys, here's my observations. I don't know if you made this observation, but when you have one positive and one negative like that one, that one, Uh, this one, this one, uh, the answer is negative in all of those problems. Now, when you have uh, two negatives and you're dividing, like in this one, and this one, and this one, the answer was positive. So, um, using that information, we go ahead and predict this sign. Go ahead and pause, circle what you think. Is it positive or negative based on what we found out above? You should have guessed it's negative because when you divide two negatives, you get a positive. And when you divide that positive by a negative, positive divided by negative is a negative. All right, so let's move on and do some problems. So um, now, again, think about multiplication when you do these problems. So they might seem kind of hard, but um, if you think about um, what number, or maybe just get close and maybe estimate what it would be. Um, but use your rules so you have two negatives here, so your answers can be positive. This one, there's only one negative there, so that answer is going to be a negative, and so on. Go ahead and um, try to find the answers to these. If you can't get one, no big deal. We'll talk about how we got that answer. All right, here's my answers. How'd you do? Um, now, remember that um, if there's a division problem, there's also a multiplication problem. So you might think what number times negative 2 is equal to negative 56. And so you would need a positive number to get that negative 56. And that number is 28. Now, um, that one's kind of hard, but maybe round this negative 56 to negative 60. And negative 60, you could probably think, is 2 times 30, right? So um, since you were 2 away, just take 2 off your answer, okay? Um, negative 4, this is a check. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So that works. Um, this one's kind of hard, but here's how I would go about doing it. 
ignore the decimal for a second. What that decimal does is changes it by a factor of 10, because a decimal is a 10th, right? So just do 44 divided by negative 22. Well, that would be negative 2, because negative 2 times 22 is 44. And then, um, then put the decimal back in by, um, when you're, since this is a smaller number, add a zero on because it's a factor of 10 times smaller. All right. Uh, negative 15 times what number equals 30? That's negative 2 because a negative times a negative is a positive. Uh, 20 times negative 4 would have to equal x here because you can work backwards by using multiplication, and that's negative 80. All right, so suppose a scuba diver begins her dive um, at an elevation of zero feet. That's sea level. During the dive, the elevation changes at a constant rate of two, negative two feet per second, so she's diving down. How long will it take her to reach negative 300? Okay, the equation for that would be um, we want to split that negative 300 total dive by the two feet that she dives per second. So that's a division problem. And so now we have to think of what number times negative 2 equals 300. And when you're dividing by 2, you're looking at half of it. Now a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So half of 300 is 150. All right, so the Marianas Trench, that's the deepest part of the ocean. Uh, this spot called Challenger Deep has an elevation of negative 36,198. Suppose Jamie entered the ocean above this spot. He started at an elevation of zero and moved at a constant rate of minus 50 feet per minute. If Jamie was able to go deep in the ocean, how long would it take to reach the bottom? So again, we want to split that total up into parts that are um, negative 50 feet each, which means we are going to um, do a division problem. Now, um, I'm thinking this problem, we don't have to be exactly right. So let's just kind of get close. And so um, let's change this to 200. So 50 goes into there nice. Well, we have two negatives we're dividing. By the way, there's another way you can show divide sign like that. Um, and um, and dividing by 50, that means um, every 100, it goes in there twice because 50 goes in 102 times. And you have 362 of those hundreds. So um, so you really need to double 362, would be, which would be 700 and... 24. Yeah. All right. Um, so circle the word that completes these statements. So here we are, we're kind of um, reviewing, reflecting on what we learned. Uh, so the quotient, quotient, by the way, means divide. Write that in your notes if you're not sure about that. Um, when you divide a positive number by a negative number, is it positive, negative, or zero? Um, go ahead, you guys, do all three of those, and you can check back and see if you got the right answer. All right, so here's what I got for those. All right, it looks like we're ready for our homework. Um, go ahead and use the, your notes to help you remember. Like for this first problem, you have two negatives here, so your answer is going to be positive. On this one, you have a positive and a negative, so your answer is going to be negative. All right, and also use multiplication whenever it helps you. All right, good luck with that. We'll talk to you soon.